Delta's governor, Okawa's 30 billion drainage project, collapses over use of substandard materials. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The anxiety steals sleep from the eyes. The people are apprehensive about a seeming disaster waiting to happen. Following the apparent failure of one of a recently completed stormwater drainage project at its discharge point. The Governor of Ifan Yoko administration in a bid to permanently address the perennial flooding challenge in the capital city has executed five storm water drainage projects. For this particular project connecting Edo Zekoko Road, flood water from DLA Road, Jesus Saves Road, Agric Road, and parts of NABC Road is channeled through the street to Wemtiet and Amili Mocha River, a tributary of the River Niger. Residents of the Hilly Street have heaved a sigh of relief when the job was completed because of the challenge he thought to associated with accessing their, their homes as a result of the once deployed the road. But a breath of fresh air now, does, now appears to be short-lived because of the collapse of the concrete slabs of both the side drain and part of the road close to the drainage point, discharge point. They are approaching the next rainy season with trepidation. According to some residents, Lives and choice properties are under threat should there be any major downpour, even before the wet season sets in proper. The defect was first noted in the last quarter of 2021 and landlords in the area under the aegis of Argo Progressive Union wrote a saver so later to Governor Okawa through the Delta State Ministry of Works. The letter dated November 17, 2021 and signed by the Secretary of the Union, Ubueshi Godfrey Chibuzo Eluno indicted the contracting firm for allegedly doing a shoddy job. It is indeed saddening that despite the good intention of a state's government in awarding the contract for the construction of the storm drains to mitigate the annual flood in Asaba, the contractor clearly did not do a good job, obviously used substantial materials to execute the project. Thus, the present danger posed to lives and properties in the area, the letter read. In another letter dated March 4th, 2022, which was also signed by Eleno, the union expressed deep concern that up to now nothing has been done to reaward the contract for the reconstruction of the field section of a storm drainage in order to safeguard the lives and properties as well as businesses of those living in the area, considering that the rainy season is almost here. Therefore, we humbly and strongly wish to reappeal that His Excellency uses most exalted office to urgently direct the appropriate authorities to reaward the project or call the contractor back to site to repair the field or collapsed sections of the storm drainage in order to forestall the looming danger. When Daily Sun visited the troubled area, it was observed that the structure had already collapsed about 300 meters away from the discharge point. The concrete slab used to pave the road were caving in, gradually cutting off the road. Mr. Sunday Aze, a resident, told our correspondent that the development was a huge source of worry for them. We are very afraid. Once the weather changes as if it wants to rain, nobody sleeps again. Our lives are under serious threat. Once it rains, we might not have access to our houses. So it is very dangerous and a serious threat to the lives of residents, Aza said. Aza, who applauded the state government for effort to address flooding issues, attributed the failure to the inadequacy of the side drain to contain the enormous flood channel through it. The drainage here is too small to contain the volume of water coming through, so they need to come and deepen it at least. Let them come and do something to deepen it and take it to the river, he said. Another resident, Pope Stanley Uchenna, attributed the failure to the use of substandard materials in the execution of the project. At first, when they completed the project, it was okay, but now it is something that I can tell you that I, it is not something I can tell you I am happy with. It is bad in the sense that in Nigeria, I don't know why we like using substandard materials to construct things that are supposed to last forever. Things that are supposed to last because of the people who are going to use them. These are things that are being used by human beings or animals. And even if they are being used by animals, they still need to be constructed very well. It is barely three years since the project was completed and we have started seeing this. It is not good at all. The government should come back here and do the needful because any rain, not even the rainy season, these houses are good as gone. We're not looking at the houses, but those living in the houses. These are families. How would they cope if this road finally breaks into two? 
I know Okowa has tried, but I'm begging him to come to an end because this is why we voted for him. I know this is the project I believe he will say he has done, he is done with, but you cannot be done with something that he is not really done with. Because if they had taken this thing across the river and also it ended well, I don't think we would be seeing this. Even if he does not want to come back because of the resident, he should come back because of FMC, because government is making a lot of money from here. If a car worker cannot do it alone, let him involve the federal government, which is making money from the FMC, Federal Medical Center. You can see no structures within the hospital. I don't think the federal government should allow this yearning erosion to affect the cash cow, which Enna said. Describing the situation as critical, another resident, David Odenaka Mwoke, said they are fed the fed up granting press interviews, alleging that the state government has simply turned a deaf ear to their pleas. Mwoke, however, expressed confidence that Governor Okawa would do something about the situation because he has already done many projects. We are not going to blame the government because this is a natural disaster. What we are begging for now is that government should come to our aid and rescue the situation. Also, Elder Chukwu Emeka John appealed to the governor to come to their aid, saying this erosion has been the talk of the day. We appeal that they should touch the governor's ear. We have tried our best to reach out to the governor. The thing is coming closer by the day. The buildings are under threat. I don't think we can still be living here after this year's rain. Contacted the data, the data State Commissioner for Works, Urban Roads and Highway, Newell Amadon, said his office was aware of the situation, adding that steps were being taken to remedy it. I'm aware of it. I've been told about it and I've gone there about two or three times. My engineers have also gone there twice. We are looking at how we can address the issue, he said. Amaran disagreed with residents of the area on the cause of collapse, attributing it to water surge from the river and insisted that the project was equated with quality, quality materials. It is water, water surge down with the river. That is what caused it. It is not as a result of substandard materials. As a matter of fact, very top-class materials were used in that job, but it wasn't searched on it, and our design did not quite accommodate that, he added. But the allegation by the resident that the government failed to respond to the appeals, Omadon debunked it, saying that he had dealings with them and actually went to the site to have first-hand information. You see, the people did not even accuse um, the government for not doing anything. Of course, they came out to say that the government has done something already, but what they did is actually not good enough. So they should come out and, you know, save these people. Like they said, it is not even about them any longer. It is about the lives that is going to be lost and buildings that are going to be destroyed. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of